up you guys if you see this ugly heifer here I'm really pissed off right now excuse my language but this woman stabbed her child and took the child's life and I don't understand why this is such there is such an attack on these children I cannot understand it it seems like there is such a, a, a demand and attacks on innocent children I just don't get it this comes out of people like people news and I'm just like really baffled like what is the problem what's wrong you know uh, I, I don't have words for it I don't Let, let's read this story this this is absolutely crazy a Virginia mother faces murder charges after allegedly stabbing her 10 year month old son to death and seriously wounding her eight-year-old daughter, says police. On Monday night, Newport News police officer responded to a call about a female in distress at an apartment in Hilltop Drive, on Hilltop Drive, according to a release, and found what Chief Steve Drew described at a press conference as a horrific scene. What will cause you to do something like this to your child? And I always kind of throw something out there. It could be mad. She could be mad at baby daddy. You know, she could be mad because she doesn't want the kids anymore. And of course, as they always do claim mental illness, the family saw signs and they did nothing about it. I'm so sick and tired of this same old, same old crap. If you know that your family is struggling with a mental illness, please, people, do something about it. Don't sit on your ass can and say, well, what happened was I thought, you know, it was going to be okay. Maybe she was just going through something right now. So uh, I, I really thought it was going to go, you know, blow over. You know what I'm saying? Like a dummy, you know? So... This is crazy. Like a story I read, the grandpa was going to get custody of the kid, but no, I wanted to wait until his daddy, you know, got custody. Then, you know, we could go from there. No, fool, you should have did it. And the little boy would be alive today. And I don't mean a disrespect, but I get so tired of these people waiting on somebody else when you have the wherewithal to do it and handle it right now. And if you knew that your daughter had a mental illness, of course you're going to protect that child and give that child to the dad so that the woman don't come and do something to the kid. You guys knew and you said you feared that something was going to happen to the kid. <sighs> the fiance of Sarah Whitley Gnu, 35, looking every bit of, had allegedly received threats via text from her describing the scene that um, he would see describing the scene that he would see when he came home Drew said the daily uh, press reports officer who entered the apartment found the boy and the girl suffering from multiple stab wounds Drew said local station wave reports Whew. the officers who went across the threshold and into that into that apartment the things they saw they will remember for the rest of their uh, career, their life, not their career, but for the rest of their life, Drew said, because that's a horrific, horrific scene to see somebody take out their aggression on children. Both of them were stabbed multiple times, Drew said, the daily press reports all over the body. We're not dealing with an adult body. We're dealing with an eight-year-old and a 10-month-old right. 10 month old right so any stab wound is critical officers found a pocket knife nearby he said the babies identified the baby identified as Zell Howard died at the scene the girl was flown to a hospital in Norfolk where she was listed in critical but stable condition this is absolutely mind-blowing you guys officers arrested GNU 35 when you look at her picture, she looked every bit of 45 in the face, or 50. She was taken to a local hospital to treat superficial injuries, Drew said. On Tuesday, she was charged with one count 
um, each of second degree murder and malicious malicious wounding and two counts of felony child neglect. So why is it second degree murder when it should be capital murder? Period. Point blank. She is being held without bond at the Newport uh, New City Jail. She has not entered a plea. It's unclear whether she has retained an attorney who can speak on her behalf. Police have responded to domestic disturbance type complaints at the uh, apartment. Uh, domestic disturbing complaints at the apartment a couple of times already this year drew said the daily press reports what will take place now is trying to understand the why in the history he said according to the daily press the father of the baby arrived on scene of the stabbing monday night wow drew said wave reports the father of the eight-year-old lives out of state and that's absolutely horrific that this man had to deal with this woman taking the life or attempting to take the life you know of of his child look at her and they're going to probably plead insanity you know so that she don't have a really harsh sentence and i think that any person that does that whether they have a mental illness or not should get capital murder period point blank life in jail without the possibility of parole and and to make it even harder they shouldn't be able to get any visits from their family. They shouldn't be able to get any packages or anything, you know, because it's almost like taking care of another person. When these people go to jail, they get uh, visits, they get letters, they get packages. So it's like, of course, that's why people do some of the stuff they do because they're taken care of. They don't have to do anything. You know, they get so accustomed, as I call it, they get institutionalized and they don't have to do anything. So they go back to jail but this one here they're gonna have to put her in protective custody for the duration of her jail time because they're gonna get her definitely when you go after women and children those people in jail are not happy and they do not like you and they're going to get you you know if they don't put you in protective custody if they mess up and put you in general population honey they may be having your funeral services next so you guys, let me know what you think about this story. Don't forget to hit that like button, that post notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And, and don't forget to share. And thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. I'm just trying to catch up on my stories. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. But this right here should have had CPS all over them, you know, trying to make sure, you know, if there's any signs, you guys, of any disturbances in the person. CPS should have been out there. You know what I'm saying? And this is, again, why I say they always drop the ball. I'll talk to you guys later.